Hey guys, how you doing? It is your girl Silver Daisies, and this is episode three of Five Minute Scares. Now, for today's episode, I am going to name this school on a graveyard because that is exactly where the story takes place. Now, what happened with the story is that I will start it from the beginning. This girl, um went to this particular primary school now it was a christian primary school and so there was nuns and everything even though she was muslim she did go to a christian primary school and so she says her school was literally built on a graveyard like it's in like the history books of the school and everything it's not like just a tale where one learner told the other it is there that the school was built on a graveyard so there was always a sort of fear in like every student about what may lurk there and she says on this particular day the she went to the girls bathrooms with her friends nothing odd about it because obviously they go to the bathroom during break times and she says she went into a bathroom and it was really the atmosphere of it was quite unusual let me use that word unusual and so she went with her friends to the bathroom they go there and as they want to wash their hands they reach out and they open the tap and then the, the tap comes gushing out this like red water and so immediately they like primary school kids so they like oh it's blood it's blood it's blood but we don't know for certain that it is at that time and so they scared and worse is that they heard a bang off in the distance so that just spooked them even more so they ran out of this bathroom and they went to go call the caretaker and so the caretaker is called in by these girls because usually um the caretakers on the grounds when it's break and so a teacher wasn't called in as of yet so the caretaker goes with the girls and they go to the bathroom and he tells them okay turn the tap on and they turn it on themselves and the water that comes out is clean clean water absolutely no trace that there was even anything red gushing out of it so they're like okay maybe we imagined it maybe it's us just hallucinating but then this matter is taken to the principal or certainly to the teachers of the principal and then they conduct their own sort of investigation because they're like okay we can't have these girls scaring the other students with their stories so let's put it to rest just see what actually happened and so they go in the bathroom and they take samples they they check the taps to take samples and they do find a red residue there but obviously with pipes something can go wrong maybe it picked up a bit of dirt and that's what was running but then when they did go check what the red residue was it was in actual fact blood and so they were quite perplexed by this issue because what would blood be doing in sinks in the taps so then it was quite bizarre in a sense that they didn't know what to do and the matter was just left like that they didn't do any further investigation because after the girls saw that the water ran clean there was no there was no other thing that happened after that and it was just a strange incident that happened and with this there is actual as you can see there was actual evidence it wasn't something where perhaps they imagined it it as from the investigation of the school it was proved to be blood we don't know where it came from 
could have been picked up somewhere else we're not sure but as i always say there can always be a rational explanation to everything